So if you ever ask Reddit about the best strings to use for an intermediate player, you will run into a wall of gatekeeping, level shaming 4.0s who think that they can hold serve against a touring professional. The fact is the needs of intermediate players vary massively when it comes to their string setups. At the end of the day, the best string setup for you as an intermediate player depends on exactly what kind of intermediate player you are. Specifically, it depends on what kind of swing speeds you can generate and what kind of goals you've set for your game. So let's go over the main kinds of strings you'll encounter to help you make the right decision for you. Syngut, multifilament, and polyester. These terms refer to both the construction of the string, but also the material that the string is made out of. You've probably heard the term syngut, synth gut, or synthetic gut before. Literally, this term just means it's a synthetic replica of the coveted natural gut, which is made out of cow intestines, so it does cost quite a bit to make and then buy. Syngut's primary advantage over natural gut is price. While they aren't necessarily made from a specific material or made in a specific construction fashion, when most people say Syngut, they are referring to the solid core nylon strings that came out in the wood racket. Era. Some of the best Synguts or solid core nylons that you can buy today are Prince, Syngut with Duraflex, Head PPS, Gosen, OG Sheep Micro, but honestly any Syngut from a major manufacturer, whether that be Wilson, Head, Technofiber, or Babla, any of those will play great too. One step up from your basic Syngut is the multi or multi-filament nylon. Unlike sin guts, which have a solid core running through the middle and are often wrapped with a bunch of other little strands, multis are constructed by a million little strings or filaments, which are wound, twisted, or braided together. Multis often offer better feel, tension maintenance, comfort, power, and forgiveness when compared to a sin gut, but their downsize is that they're less durable and they are quite a bit more expensive usually. My most recommended multis vary in price, but they are Head Velocity MLT, Technofiber X1 Biphase, and Technofiber Triax. The last main type of string is polyester. These are monofilament strings made from polyester. However, most of the modern strings include additives like aluminum, silicone, or other chemicals which are there to fine tune the playability and tension maintenance of the string. There are three main advantages that polys hold over all other nylons. They are spin, control, and durability. So between these three types of strings, which seems like the best for you? In my experience, most people are deeply attracted to the idea of polyester strings. They think, oh, more control, it's gonna help me hit the ball in, and so will more spin, and more durability is gonna save me money because I'll have to string less. It just sounds like a win-win, right? Wrong! It is true. At the recreational level, almost every point ends because of an unforced error. It makes sense that you'd want the most control-oriented string because you'll hit more balls in the court that way. You're not really looking for power. You're not trying to hit winners and blow the ball by your opponent necessarily. But the problem is, all that extra control and all that extra spin is really only unlocked with higher swing speeds. You need to swing fast enough to force that string to displace and generate snapback. But I'd argue that most healthy players are able to swing fast enough to generate snapback. The problem is, just because they can do it doesn't mean that they actually do it. Most of us have just terrible footwork and questionable timing, and sure, we can crank a few forehands here and there, but most of the time we hit the ball slightly out of position, so we just can't achieve a full effort swing. This is when the benefits of nylon strings will come into play. You'll get way more forgiveness on off-center shots and during those times when you can't just take a big rip at the ball. You'll also get better directional control out of a nylon string when compared to a polyester. This is because nylon strings behave the same way regardless of their swing speeds. Polys, on the other hand, behave differently depending on how hard you hit. The harder you hit, the more snapback you'll generate, and the steeper angle you hit at also, the more snapback you'll generate. This means if you're hitting too slow, the ball can kind of just die off the string bed. And if you swing too fast, but you can't anticipate the extra spin you're gonna need to bring that ball back into the court, you might see that ball just cannonball 
way out of the court. This variable response might be the last thing you need as an intermediate player. Consistency is the name of the game for intermediates. And if you can't predict what's going on with your strings, how can you even expect to hit consistently? Worse still, the inconsistency of polyester strings only intensifies with age. As polys start to take on wear, they start notching, and this notching increases friction in the string bed, making it harder to generate that spin that polys are so famous for. This is exactly what is happening when people say that polys go dead quick. With all of that said, does that mean that poly is just the wrong thing for you and you need to stay away from it as an intermediate player? Well, not necessarily. Like I said at the start, different types of intermediate players have different needs. You might say different strokes for different folks. If you're the kind of player who tries their best to get into position and take a full swing on every ball, poly could definitely be something that works for you. For example, my friend Trey from Winners Only Tennis is an intermediate player, but he's very fit and athletic, so he is a great candidate for a polyester string. He's actively improving his footwork and technique, and he's trying his best to hit every ball with power and spin, unless it's a backhand. On the other hand, there are some players whose goal it is to just keep every ball in the court, winning points by any means necessary. You'll have strong court awareness and you'll use depth and placement to beat your opponents rather than power and spin. For you, I think nylon is probably better, but like most players, you're probably gonna find yourself somewhere in between, and that's when a hybrid setup can really come in clutch. Hybrids, usually with nylons, they'll have polyester in the mains for durability and control, and then you'll have nylon in the crosses for comfort and forgiveness. So here are my final recommendations for intermediate players. First, try a full nylon setup. A cheaper sin gut like head PPS or whatever your local stringer has is a great place to start. If you find that you like this setup, it's working well for you, but maybe you want a softer feel and a little bit more spin, Head Velocity MLT is the next one you want to try. Maybe you want a little bit more power and more feel. In that case, Technofiber X1 Biphase or Wilson NXT is a good go too. But if you want a little more durability, a little bit more spin from a full nylon setup, Technofiber Tri-X, though expensive, it is a great option and you will get enough durability out of it for, in my opinion, it to warrant the extra price. But if you want a lot more spin and a lot more durability, that's when you wanna go for a hybrid. I think Head Velocity is one of the best polys to use as a cross string because it's got this nice slick coating, which is really gonna help that polyester snap back and generate a little bit more spin. I personally also prefer rounder polys for nylon hybrids to minimize any potential like sawing effect. Yonex Poly Tour Pro is great for comfort and control. Head Links, regular Links, not Links Tour, is a nice, comfortable, and more powerful option that's pretty forgiving. And if you just want spin, something like Restring Zero or Toraline Wasabi, or even Bablet RPM Rough, will work excellently. Try out all these or you've gotten to the point where you're really certain that polyester is the right setup for you. There's one polyester that I think stands above the rest in terms of ease of use and durability and even spin and that's Restring Zero. It's incredibly slippery. It's got some insane lubrication, so you just don't have to swing as fast to get that snap back. I'd even go so far to say, and I don't even think this is a hot take, I think most people who've tried it would agree that Restring Zero is the best string for snapback that you can buy today. That lubrication helps minimize notching over time, so you're also gonna get better playability for longer, not to mention that tension maintenance is also stellar. It's up there with some of the best. I string for a few of my friends here, and about half of them have actually made the switch to Restring Zero, formerly using RPM Blast. And it's not just intermediates, it's people all the way from 3.0 to like 5.0 who have made that switch. And if you found this video helpful and you do want to try Restring Zero, I can get you 10% off using the link in the description. But also if you're curious about strings from Toraline or Grapple Snake, I have discounts for those as well. But if Restring Zero is a bit hard to get where you are because they are a US-based company, I've heard MSV Swift plays quite similarly and that's something you're gonna be able to find in Europe. But also, 
regular head links, as mentioned before, is quite forgiving as far as polys go, but you could also go with like Yonex Poly Tour Fire if you really want that lubrication station in your tennis racket to help you get some more spin. Anyway, if you've got any questions or you need some advice with your string setups, I do have consultations you can buy through my website, but I always try to answer comments. Just give me some good information to work with with whatever comment you leave down below, and I'll talk to you there.